Welcome to Cooking with Vincent. I'm gonna do a unboxing review of this Expert Grill 3-in-1 grill. It's a gas grill charcoal grill. We're gonna get it open and put it together and I'll kind of show you what it looks like as we go through the process. So well, let's get to it. So that's what it should look like when it's all said and done. Uh, just a disclaimer, sorry for the loud noise. We're on my porch right next to the air conditioner so you may hear that in the background. But let's get this put together. So this is the inside of the box. It looks like it's pretty much only in a couple pieces. So that's the grill. That's the charcoal side. That's the gas side. So it's just a few assembly options and then putting it on its legs and stuff. So we've got the instructions and we're going to get to work. So right off the bat, something to notate is they actually imprint like RF, RB, LB, LF. So like left front, left back, right front, right back. And I like that they've labeled them that way. Okay, so we've at least gotten most of the styrofoam off. They do package it really well. Like these boxes, I think probably like the grates and the wheels and stuff are on the inside of the um, closures. But so far it's been packaged really well. So, able job on these screws is really good. Like we put a lot of IKEA things together in like random sheds and stuff. And so far this is pretty nice. Alrighty, uh, so we finished putting this together last night. I didn't really film too much more of us putting it together. Here's why. I'll have to say the only really, so far, I haven't even used the grill yet, the grill, griddle, whatever. Uh, the only issue I had was that I had to have my wife come out and put some of the parts together because there are places that these giant fingers aren't getting to. So if you're a big guy or if you got big fingers, you're going to have an issue putting this together a little bit because um, in some places it would almost be better if you had a screwdriver that bent at an angle. Um, but so like there's literally some places where I'm just laying the, the, the screwdriver into the crevice of where I'm trying to get to and just rotating it like from the outside, um, putting pressure against the, the parts of the grill so it stays in place. But I'm going to show you a little full workup. This thing is fully put together. It did take us a couple hours, but that more or less had to do with a giant finger. So I had hard time getting to certain places and then uh the baby got upset at some point so this is a three in one it's from made by, it's made by expert grill i'm going to show you the little sticker that's on the side table so it's an expert grill three in one gas griddle charcoal um nine, 1090 square inch total cooking area so this says it can do 40 burgers 20 chicken breasts or 50 hot dogs it uses cast iron cooking grates a cast iron griddle insert for versatile cooking will do 30,000 btu cooking heat with a variable charcoal tray height. It's got a bunch of accessories you can get from walmart.com, grilling gloves, meat claws, chimney starters, covers. I do need to get a cover for it, but that's what it looks like. And then this is what it looks like. Let's see if I can go far enough back. Okay, so you've got a little shelf down here. Um, you've got your charcoal tray adjuster here, your charcoal door, your gas grill knobs. Uh, the gas tank sits on like a little shelf right here. The only thing holding it's maybe a shelf this big. And then there's like a metal ring that goes over here. So I have already sprayed, um, this stuff down with some, um, like cast iron, um, like non-stick spray to kind of help season it and stuff. So I've already done that. That's the only thing I've done. I haven't cooked on this yet. We're going to cook some breakfast on it here in a little bit. Um, these do auto ignite pretty quickly. Uh, it does have, have a place to hold a chain. Uh, and basically this is in case for some reason your igniter doesn't work and you don't want to spend the money to replace it or it's out of warranty or whatever. You basically put a match inside um, this to hold it and then it gives you a little bit more distance to light um, your fire. There is a thermometer on top of both sides. Then you have your kind of spring loaded, spring held um, chimney adjuster for lid. Like if you want to let smoke out, let heat out and stuff like that. On the side here you do have this. I think this is in a weird spot because this shelf is here. I think I would have liked to have seen the shelf on the other side over top of the um, gas tank just because that I don't know I don't like that this is this is 
where it's at. Plus, if I've got something here prepping to go in this, it's like getting blasted with heat, possibly. Um, that's the only, th the only thing I don't like so far is that this is here with the tray over top of it. So, I think it should have been, this should have been on the other side over top of the, um, the gas tank. Just my opinion. But not a big deal, though. That's the inside. So, it does have the warming rack. And these two cast iron um, grill um, racks. They do come out. And then again, like I said, you do have this. So, if you want your charcoal a little bit higher, let's see, you want a little bit more heat on them. Trying to sear a steak or something. You get that heat up there. And then it's got it's got six different levels. So this does turn. It's got like a locking mechanism on it, so it stays closed. <clears throat> now this has to be done like this. I don't know why, but aesthetically, I wish that in the lock position this piece was this way. That's just a weird cork though. That has nothing to do with anything. I personally would like to see it. And then when you open it, you went down and pulled it out. But that's just me. That's a weird cork. And ignore. That's not a complaint. That's just a preference on my part. I'm weird though. And then, oh again, basically you've got two um, cast iron uh, grilling racks on either side. And these come out, you know, so that your griddle can go in. Again, I've sprayed the griddle and the stuff with a um, seasoning spray. So I'm about to cook on this. I'm going to pull um, this side of the griddle out and put it in there. And then get this started up and make some bacon and eggs or something. Uh, after I wipe some of this spray off. Now that it's set for about 30 minutes. And I'll be able to, you know, show you guys as I cook. Because... I could put you on the non-hot side. So, we'll get to that in just a few minutes. Now, some of my thoughts. Um, this says three in one. So, it's a charcoal grill, a gas grill, and a gas griddle. I think I could even use it as a smoker because of the fact that I can get the charcoal so low. Um, I think what I'm going to do is possibly look at building me just, just when I want to smoke stuff building me a um uh, just a heat shield so i don't get any direct flame and i think i could probably brace it not something that's permanent like something i could set in here when i specifically want to smoke that would sit on this bar here over top of the charcoal and then it could even sit like right here over top of the charcoal door which let me see does that come out yeah so there's this lip right here um that i could put, possibly create just a metal heat shield and then i would be able to smoke stuff because you know, I can adjust my, my heat temperature here and then lock the smoke in here through the chimney and um, pr probably turn this into a smoker pretty easily. So it says three in one, but I could definitely turn it into a, a four in one. I'm also going to look at building me a system that I can maybe cold smoke stuff. So run um, a pipe from here into the gas side so that it's only pumping smoke in here and then maybe cold smoke some cheeses or maybe cold smoke some fish or something D these are just thoughts i have these are me playing around with my brain not anything's going to happen very quickly those are just things i have been thinking about looking at it you know there's because i do love to smoke stuff um but right now the only thing i really have is that electric smoker you've seen on other videos um, and then I have a giant, like, six-foot smoker that's really only going to get turned on when I want to do, like, giant parties. Because that joker will do, in one go, it will do 40 pounds of chicken legs, four Boston butts, and, like, four racks of ribs all in one go. You know, so that's... I'm not going to fire that up just for a family meal. Like, I've got a leg of lamb that I want to cook. I'm not going to stick that on that giant smoker because I'll be wasting fuel, you know, due to the space... Um, and I think I could do it on here pretty easily. So just, you know, things that as a, as a, as a home chef, you're always thinking about things you can tinker with. So I'm very excited about this. Um, let's get breakfast going. So of course, the first thing you want to do anytime you run in one of these is get it lit, get it going and let it burn, um, just for, you know, 15 minutes, 20 minutes as it heats up and stuff. And it's going to burn off any like packing 
residue or anything like that. Um, I did clean it as best I could, and that's why I ended up re-seasoning it. So what's going on now is I got the griddle going. So it's clean, it's heating off all that, the stuff, but so you can see the flame kind of flicker through the heat shield. So there's a heat shield here, a heat shield here, and then a heat shield directly under this. It specifically says do not remove the heat shield when you put the griddle in. So I am gonna definitely call them and see if I can't get another griddle plate so I can do a griddle here and a griddle here I just think it'd be kind of cool um, to have but I don't know if it's possible because this has a front marker specifically so that your grease and stuff falls into the grease tray um, down below so that might not be a possibility but I am gonna call and talk to him I will say my little grease tray here you can see it's pretty bent. It's not a big deal. I'm gonna call and see if I can have it replaced since it does have a warranty on it because I worry that that's gonna affect the way the grease flows because it's bent down instead of up. So I'm gonna let this heat up and then we'll get some bacon going. that these holes would help redirect which I mean if you look at this one it's right over the flame uh, the heat guard the flame guard I would assume that these holes would be set up to help get the grease away from the flames but they're not so that's kind of weird that they're not set up that way um, or I don't know I might have to see if I can't come up with a way to build like a channel off the back of this thing that like catches the grease in these two spots and channels it to the back and down into the just something I can improve on maybe we'll see no, no guarantees that's gonna happen. It's just a thought I was having, but. See if it's good with this versus just cooking it without the flat top. This is for bacon. We'll do it with hamburgers and steaks and stuff at one point, but I'm just giving it a test to see if, I, if this is really necessary for bacon. Because bacon's kind of a curly thing, so we'll see. So this definitely helps the bacon cook faster and get better color. So see, these two pieces went on at the same time as these four pieces. And you see like a lot of the fat's not being touching the surface and stuff, so it's not getting the coloring. Whereas if you look at that, like, I got full coloring. Like, that's beautiful colored bacon right there. So, this comes in handy. So I'm using the warming rack to let the bacon uh, slowly drip the grease off. I got some croissants warming up on this side. More bacon going right there.
you think about that? Pretty good. So I'm gonna let this cool a little bit. I'm gonna finish scraping off the bits from the um, thing. I did lay some olive oil on it and then set this on it so it just kind of stays a little seasoned. But uh, so far this is pretty nice. It works pretty well. I was worried the eggs were gonna stick to the griddle but I noticed like as they finished cooking they curled up around the edges and my, my metal spatula just slid right under them. So pretty good so far. We got plenty of cooking videos coming from this bad boy. So my review of the a light grill, three-in-one grill. I like it so far. Again, I haven't tried the charcoal side. I've only tried the gas side. It works real well. It lights real quick. Um, but beyond that, so far, I've, I enjoy it. The griddle was pretty non-stick as soon as it came out of the box. You know, I said I washed off the residue and stuff, let it heat up, and um, I used a little bit of olive oil where the eggs were going. Just that's more me, less them. I, it didn't stick the first time. Um, I just added just to be safe, but. I like it's pretty neat um, I'm gonna reach out to them on a couple of questions I have and go from there but hope you guys enjoyed this cooking with Benson video hope you enjoyed this product review slash making breakfast for Mother's Day and I'll see you in the kitchen